This is a balloon. You've probably seen one before. This is a cup of liquid nitrogen, which you also may have seen before. But what happens when we combine the two? So liquid nitrogen is very cold. It's negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. And the air inside this balloon is a mixture of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. Oxygen and carbon dioxide both have lower uh, melting points than nitrogen, which means when I pour the liquid nitrogen on the balloon, what will happen is the, balloon, the air inside the balloon will shrink as it gets colder. And now that the balloon has shrunk, if I take it out and gently warm it up to room temperature, it will reinflate to its normal condition. You saw me shrink a balloon with liquid nitrogen. And that, believe it or not, is just for fun, although it is cool to see. Um, it is actually an application of the gas laws. And so if you've taken any kind of chemistry class, you may be very familiar with this equation. PV equals NRT. Uh, so this means that pressure times volume is equal to the number of moles of gas that you have times a constant times the temperature in Kelvin. And so when you freeze something with liquid nitrogen, this number is going down significantly uh, since liquid nitrogen is so cold. R is a constant, like I said, so it kind of just goes away. And since we have a balloon, the number of moles of gas inside, the amount of gas that you have, isn't changing either. So that stays constant as well. So what we have is when we bring the temperature of that balloon down, these two are going to have to get smaller, basically. So the volume and pressure both decrease in order to keep up with the decrease in temperature. And so that is why, believe it or not, freezing a balloon with liquid nitrogen is a really good demonstration of how the gas laws uh, kind of manifest themselves.